Hey there, it's Mandy from Mandy Marie Art. Today I'm going to be reviewing the new T-Rex Alcohol Ink Shimmer Pack. But before we jump into that, don't forget to hit that subscribe button below for new product reviews and painting videos. All right, let's jump in and get started. All right, it's time for a, another swatch video. Um, this one is coming in from T-Rex Alcohol Inks, um, which is a brand that I happen to love. This pack is their new Starlight Shimmer 12 pack. And in it, it has a variety of colors, but they are all shimmer based. And so I'm super excited to kind of dig into these because I love different options for metallics. Um, I think they can really add to a piece and it just can be kind of fun using them. So the colors in this pack, we have Prism Pink, Red Alert, Faux Orange, Oh, actually, I think I read that wrong. Flux orange, excuse me. Nuclear yellow. We have firefly. And there's laser green. Infinity teal. Ion blue. We have quantum cobalt. Plasma purple. Nebula. And the Stardust Blender. So really excited to use these. One of the things I love about T-Rex Alcohol Ink, um, they come in the larger sized bottles. So you get um, 0.67 fluid ounces, which is super cool um, because again, they're kind of like that jumbo sized in comparison to some other brands. So I like that. I just also love the quality of the inks. Um, this company has really been able to create inks that are very stable. Um, and sometimes that's really nice when you're looking for a color that doesn't really have a lot of undertones. Um, I've reviewed all of their other packs. So if you want to check that out, you can visit um, and look through some of my other videos here on YouTube. Um, yeah, so let's dig in. I'm going to grab some swatch paper and we'll just kind of test these colors out. So we'll start first with Prism Pink. I'm just using a scratch sheet of Yupo paper, um, so it's nothing special. But right off the bat, this is a gorgeous color. Um, lots of shimmer. Oh my goodness, I cannot get over that. That is just very, very intense, just right out of the gate. So even before adding anything to it, you can just really see that shimmer in there. So I'm gonna add just a little bit of ISO here just to thin it out. And I'm gonna use my air blaster. A little bit of yellow undertone to that, which no big deal. It's very subtle, hardly there. A little bit of pink's popping out now. A bit fluorescent. Um, so, which is to be expected when you look at the color palette of what's included in this pack. Just cannot get over this shimmer. I'm going to take a picture of all these colors in natural daylight because I think that will really help to, um, so that you can see, again, just that really beautiful shimmer. Okay, so the next color is Red Alert. Oh, and it's like the perfect lipstick red. Love it. Again, just really nice subtle shimmer, but the best part about these colored shimmered inks, they're not gummy. They're just very smooth. They respond and react just like their regular alcohol ink. Um, they just have a little bit of shimmer. So, I grab T-Rex Red, just a swatch here, and you can just kind of see. Similar hue, um, but again, performs the same. But there is a lot of pink undertone to this one, which is not what you'll find in the T-Rex um, Red, which isn't called Red, by the way. Um, it's actually, um, I think, Shiraz Red? Shiraz? Shiraz? I can't remember. Um, but anyway, I just write red on the swatch because it's red. Uh, next color, 
Flux Orange. Also, I didn't shake these up, and so now that I'm thinking about it, I may need to shake them. But they're just performing so well, just right out of the bottle. Okay, so yes, some of the colors you are going to need to shake, orange being one of them. There's um, some mineral buildup in the orange. So I'm gonna give the orange just a quick shake. Start over here. Okay, yep. So for these, definitely wanna shake them up. There we go, now it's performing well. You can see a lot more of the metallic, um, but there is a little bit more clumping with the orange than in the other colors, even after you shake it up. And so that might just be how the orange performs. Okay, grab another swatch here. Next up is the nuclear yellow. Um, since I needed to shake the orange, I'm just going to shake them all now going forward. So nuclear yellow, which I love a good neon yellow and this mm, does not disappoint. If you're looking for just a regular neon yellow that doesn't have a shimmer, um, go check out my video on um, Let's Resin. They have a phenomenal like fluorescent yellow that's just plain with no glitter. Um, but if you want a shimmer, mm, yes, chef's kiss with the nuclear yellow. All right, moving into the greens. First one is Firefly. I don't gravitate towards greens like this very often, but this is kind of cool. It's like a very kind of like lettuce green. Again, sticking with kind of like that neon palette. This would be so fun in resin work. So if you're big into resin, um, I would definitely get these. These are just so great. Um, next one is laser green. Again, not a huge fan of green, but oh, this is a pretty color. Yep, that's really pretty. Oh, this one's a little bit, almost thinner. Definitely a turquoise undertone here. It's just not as rich as the other colors um, when you add ISO to it, which is okay. Um, it's just a little bit more subtle and I think this would look really, really good paired with Sea Glass from T-Rex, which is in their cool pack. All right, next up we have Infinity Teal. Now I'm a huge fan of aqua um, and aqua colors, turquoise colors, teal colors, anything kind of in that color palette. And this one reminds me a lot of, uh, it's not, I, it's not Island Teal, it's Tidal Teal um, from their original pack. It's really rich. Not as much, um, again, this is just, again, another stable color, so it's very vibrant, whereas, you know, that laser green, it's just a little different. Okay, next up, Ion Blue. Okay, so kind of like a primary blue. Again, kind of similar to the laser green. This one's just a little lighter. It's not as intense, not as vibrant. Nothing wrong with that though. I don't want that comment to make it seem like it's, it's lesser than the other colors. It's just a little lighter, a little softer. And there's some purple undertones, very subtle. It's like almost like a light lavender. Not much though. Okay. Next in the group is a quantum cobalt color. So more intense than the ion blue. This is more of your primary blue. Originally when that ion blue went down, I thought it was gonna be more of a primary, but this is definitely more of that primary 
cyan blue, some purple though in there, a little red, or maybe that's just the drying. Really thick though. The shimmer in this one is a little bit more challenging to see than in the other colors actually. You have to get a little bit closer for that. Again, I'm gonna put these in sunlight just so that we can get a better look at them at the end of the video. Next up, Plasma Purple. And another rich color. The metallic is a little bit more challenging to see in these darker hues, I'm noticing. Um, in the teal, it was still fine. In these ones, it's there and it's gorgeous. Don't get me wrong. Um, it's just not as immediate. It's, a, it's much more subtle, even though the colors themselves are very vibrant. I think I'm most excited for this one, Nebula, and then of course Stardust, um, but the Nebula, it's a really nice dark hue. And again, because it's darker, a little bit more, I guess it's a little difficult to kind of see it at first, but then you get closer, I love that it's a really stable black. I mean, black really isn't isn't like 100% stable. There's a little bit of green in there because, of course, black, you're combining a bunch of different colors um, to get it to like the right tone. But it's very much a toner black. It's really kind of fun, actually. I think I'll be using this one the most. And then next up is the Stardust Blender, but I think this will most likely be something you could add to any color. So this kind of reminds me a little bit of the Marbu light, lighter pearlescent colors that they have. You really can't see that on film. Um, so this could just be added to essentially any color. So because I have a T-Rex color nearby, this is sea glass. I'm just gonna put sea glass down and then I'm going to use the star blender, the stardust blender. Oh, that's so fun. I just like that response. Yeah, and it really just, it adds to any ink, you're not gonna get the clumping. So if you're somebody that likes to have like the clumping on the metallic, you're not gonna get that from this. This is intended to be added to an ink to give it um, a very cool shimmer effect. All right, so you've seen all the colors swatched from the Starlit Shimmer Pack. So now I wanna show you a quick sped up painting of mine using Quantum Cobalt, Firefly, and Plasma Purple. Also as a side note, in this painting, the pink is Dragon Fruit Pink from T-Rex. All the bottles shown today can also be purchased separately on the T-Rex site, which is new and super exciting. So check out the link in the description below if you want to purchase any of the colors shown here today. All right, thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed this video and want to see others like it, don't forget to hit that subscribe button below. It's been fun. Let's meet up again.